So please mute yourself, all of you. Yeah, Kanaji, I allowed you. Sir? I allowed you to record. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you allow me also, sir? This is Amit. Yeah, Amit ji. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, what is your ID here? Uh, uh, LG? Lenovo. It, it should say Amit Garg. Yeah, I know. That's great. Right. Yes. Good. Abhishek, I allowed it. Good. Uh, welcome to uh, today's special program sir good then, morning good morning good morning good morning and uh, okay uh, welcome to our uh, uh, jupiter rounds today it is a special feature which i invented based on my past 20 years experience on bnn actually it is not at all anywhere mentioned in any horoscope like this Jupiter rounds in PNN by Adira Sarash. But in the first horoscope, I think, first or second. So he has given only by uh, what is it called? Um, by years like for uh, 32, 31, or 42, 40, 45, like this. Uh, Adjiraos are mentioned when Jupiter comes to this house, when Jupiter comes to this house, like this only. So it is never mentioned anywhere and uh, uh, this is just like progression and uh, we have to check progressive Jupiter where it is and uh, at the same time. So uh, let me introduce. Even in our regular classes also, we have discussed it, but uh, I have developed it. That's why I asked all the people generally recently who lent uh, this Jupiter, Jupiter rounds once again. So here, Jupiter gives the fruition of significations related to the dispositor. The one. So, Jupiter gives the fruition of significations related to the dispositor of the sun sign in which progressing Jupiter is posited in its own. Suppose you take any horoscope. The first house is, the first house will be, uh, first Jupiter round uh, we have to take first house into consideration. So, 0 to 12. So, the wherever Jupiter is positive in the in the horoscope. Suppose Jupiter is a retro, it is in retrogression, then we have to consider 12th house, the first house here. So, from there we have to check the first uh, Jupiter's rounds start with 12th house. But in this horoscope, Jupiter is uh, direct. So, I have taken here, Sag this Sagittarius is 0 to 12. This is the first round. So here Jupiter influences this house. Here, who is the ruling planet for this first house? Actually, Jupiter itself, because Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So that's why Jupiter influences this house. Jupiter is conjoined with which planet we have to check? Jupiter is conjoined with which planets? So here. The progressing Jupiter gives the significations of Jupiter. That is the first thing. And at the same time, the ruling planet gives the significations of the planets associated with it. Suppose now 
Jupiter is associated with sun. It will give sun's significations. It will, it will give Rahu signification. And at the same time, in the same direction, uh, we have Saturn, retro Saturn. So that's why it will give Saturn's significations. And at the same time, opposite uh, Jupiter, Jupiter house, moon is there. So it will give moon's signification. It will give moon signification. So moreover, the progressing Jupiter uh, here uh, aspected by any planet. So for example, from 11th house, Venus, Mars is aspecting this house. And uh, Venus is aspecting this house. So because they are exchanged here. So like this, the events will take place regarding whatever planets are aspecting Sagittarius and uh, at the same time the ruling planet Jupiter is aspected by which planets. So Jupiter gives, the ruling planet gives the significations of the planets with which it is conjoined. So this is the process actually uh, we have to do. So the first rule is here. Jupiter gives, Jupiter means here the progressing Jupiter. Jupiter gives the fruition of significations related to the dispositor so of the sign. For example, Jupiter is in Sagittarius now in the first house. So Sagittarius itself is ruled by Jupiter. That's why Jupiter gives the significations of Jupiter itself. Jupiter, oh, what do you mean by Jupiter significations? Jupiter gives you respect. Jupiter gives you promotion. So Jupiter gives you highest position. That is what is going to happen. So second uh, year rule, it also gives provision of significations of the conjoined planets of the dispositor of the sign in which progressing Jupiter is posited in its round. So in the first house here, the dispositor is itself Jupiter. Jupiter is conjoined or uh, being aspected by which planets. So those significations Jupiter will go, will give. And it also gives the fruition of significations of planets aspecting the sign in which the progressing Jupiter is posited here. So what are the planets are aspecting uh, that particular zodiac where the progressing Jupiter is posited? So, so now in this horoscope, the progressing Jupiter is, uh, it is the first house only. So it is in the house of Sagittarius. So whatever the planets are aspecting Sagittarius, this progressing Jupiter gives their significations. And when Jupiter in rounds touches Rahu or Ketu, somebody dies in the house. So it may be the Netu or Natus or Latus. So that's why we have to check in, in prog the progressive Jupiter touches in which house Rahu or Ketu. Even the direction also, Rahu Ketu direction also. Whenever progressive Jupiter in its rounds touches Mars Ketu, it denotes accidents, operation or surgery, legal problems, imprisonment, mother or assassination. Suppose Mars Ketu is with Jupiter, so unnatural death of the Netu. Uh, in that, uh, uh, what is it called? Progress, uh, when, when progressive Jupiter touches uh, Mars Ketu Jupiter, the Netu will die unnaturally. Mars Ketu sun is there, unnatural death of father. So Mars Ketu moon is there, unnatural death of mother. Mars Ketu Venus is there, unnatural death of wife. At the same time, it may be even arrest or imprisonment due to wife or financial litigation. So the native may be arrested. Sir, one question. Yeah. Sir, ye round to har, matlab, bara saal mein kahin na kahin vapas wahi pahi aayega guru to har bara saal mein ghatna hoogi kya? No, not, this is not a transit Jupiter. Okay. Progressive Jupiter. So we have to check only in which round it is. Jupiter is. Okay. Jupiter is in which round. So you are talking about transit. Okay. 
सो मार्स के तो मेरे कैन यू प्लीज डिफ्रेंशिएट द ट्रांजिट फ्रॉम द प्रोग्रेशन प्रोग्रेशन आई वी अंडरस्टैंड इज वन प्रोग्रेशन इज वन डिग्री फॉर वन ईयर दैट इज इन वेस्टर्न एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड अदर इज द एक्चुअल प्रोग्रेशन लाइक जुपिटर इज सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रोग्रेशन एंड ट्रांजिट so progression is here we will take uh, jupiter round in jupiter rounds 12 years so jupiter will stay in in the same house so uh, yeah i will i will clear first let me uh, let me complete these these principles so we will discuss suppose when this man was born jupiter is in this house okay sagittarius and again it will be in this is 2000 uh, i think uh, 1973 uh, december so it will be 1974 for example so in the 75 jupiter will be in uh, uh, which house uh, capricorn 76 it will be in a uh, aquarius 77 like this it will go every year it will uh, Uh, move over from one house to another house so the round will be 12 years so jupiter is supposed to be in the first house in progression means here only we are taking 12 years period jupiter is rotating but jupiter is influenced by the planets posited in sagittarius jupiter is influenced by the planets aspecting jupiter and jupiter is influenced by the owner of the house here jupiter itself so like this uh, these are 12 years the events which are going to take place only based on this house one so like this we will discuss and 12 to 24 jupiter is progressed into another house sir uh, 12 how ye to 12 year ka jo progression hai और केतु पे जब आएगा तो 26 26 में ट्रांजिट करेगा यहाँ पे केतु के ऊपर या आई हैव जस्ट टेकन 0 टू 12 एंड 12 टू 24 मींस इट विल बी 12 कंप्लीटेड 32 टू 34 ओके सो इट विल बी 12 इयर्स 12 इयर्स वी आर वी आर फ्रॉम 0 टू वी आर काउंटिंग 12 ओके okay. बट बट सर 24 से टू ईयर प्लस करेंगे केतु के पास के लिए ट्रांजिट में नॉट ट्रांजिट हियर नहीं प्रोग्रेशन के साथ ट्रांजिट नहीं लेंगे सर हम हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट 0 टू 12 यू आर नॉट काउंटिंग 0 सो फॉर एग्जांपल 0 टू 1 ईयर दैट इज 1 ईयर ओके सो यू आर नॉट टेकिंग दैट सो 0 0 0 ईयर यू आर नॉट काउंटिंग सो by 12 years it will be it will be 12 years uh, uh, 12 years means zero we are from zero we have to come that's why we have taken 12 to 24 so anyhow jupiter is uh, uh, here posited these 12 years uh, in progression in the second house that means this is uh, capricorn so this house is aspected by which planets we have to check so venus is aspecting mercury is aspecting mars is aspecting and at the same time uh, saturn is also aspect and moreover who is the ruling planet for this uh, capricorn so that is saturn so again saturn is connected to which with, with which planets we have to check so saturn is here connected to rahu sun and jupiter and saturn is aspected by here uh, mars and venus so like this we have to check saturn is where so saturn is in this horoscope red cow so that's why from saturn you can check saturn from uh, this taurus at the same time even aries also okay so this saturn is here influenced by other planets and jupiter is influenced by other planets what are the planets are aspecting this capricorn so like this we will discuss okay sir matlab matlab sir jaise progression mein jis rashi mein jayega us wo usko bhi dekhna padega hamare ko so what are planets are aspecting that jis, particular that jis, particular jaise jaise abhi aapne bataya ki makar mein jayega uh, 20 uh, 12 to 24 uh, to hame wahan pe saturn ke result ko bhi dekhna padega saturn kahan hai ye bata rahe ho kya yes from saturn 
where wherever saturn is positive from saturn saturn is connected with which planets we have to check agar sir saturn connect nahi hai us samay guru se matlab jupiter se to whatever no no whatever planets are aspecting that second house okay capricorn capricorn अच्छा सर मकर में अगर कोई प्लेनेट है उसको देखना नॉट देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम वॉट एवर प्लेनेट आर एस्पेक्टिंग मकर कैप्रिकॉन सो दट वी हाउ टू टेक इन टू सर फिर सैटन का क्या रोल रहेगा यहाँ पे मतलब मकर साइन प्लस साइन लॉर्ड दोनों को देखना पड़ेगा साइन प्लस साइन लॉर्ड sign not sign here so here, oh, there is progressive jupiter is there okay that jupiter yes. is aspected by whatever planet so jupiter will give the result at the same uh, time clear, even the sir. owner of that house yes uh, uh, sir clear owner but uh, i am asking also. that uh, sir i am asking that uh, 0 to 12 clear but 12 to 24 in uh, makar sign agar koi planet hai उनको भी देखना पड़ेगा और मकर का मालिक जो सैटर्न उनका भी देखना पड़ेगा कौन सा प्लेनेट एस्पेक्टिंग सैटर्न एंड कौन सा प्लेनेट एस्पेक्टिंग मकर यस यस ओके ओके क्लियर सर क्लियर या नाउ सो व्हेन एवर प्रोग्रेस ऑफ जुपिटर इन इट्स राउंड टचेस मार्स सो दिस थिंग्स जनरली हैपन मार्स इज एक्सीडेंट ओके so that's why accidental death and all these things and suppose mars mercury ketu then there will be land disputes or educational failures and educational break whenever progressive jupiter in its round touches venus moon ketu or venus moon rahu venus moon mars ketu it denotes abortion so the combination is here venus moon ketu abortion venus moon rahu abortion venus moon mars ketu abortion so that's why If Jupiter aspects this combination, so the native will get abortion. Whenever progress of Jupiter in its round touches Moon Rahu or Moon Ketu, the native will go abroad. So suppose Mercury is also connected, it will be for education or business. Saturn is connected, it will be for profession. The foreign travel will be for profession, and Saturn Mercury will be there, so it will be for business. tour business expansion okay uh, sir male female ke liye dono ke liye jupiter kare kaam karega provision no i am not uh, yeah yes yes you are right so whenever progress of jupiter is in its round touches sun the native will get name and fame popularity and if sun is connected with rahu or ketu the native's father may die whenever progress of jupiter in its round touches sun and jupiter the native get gets popularity and gets popularity victory in politics so whenever progress of jupiter touches whenever progress of jupiter in uh, in its rounds touches jupiter saturn it denotes promotion professional stability highest position whenever progress of jupiter in its round touches venus mercury venus rahu venus saturn venus jupiter the native will purchase house or vehicle or assets and will get financial stability if progress of jupiter touches for example venus moon mars ketu it denotes loss of house uh, it denotes loss of house property or property litigation or losses or litigation so here jupiter uh, progress of jupiter is aspecting here uh, venus moon mars ketu so venus is money moon is loss of money and mars is here, mars ketu is imprisonment or litigation disturbances whenever progress of jupiter in its rounds touches venus it denotes marriage prospects and a good period for wife if progress of jupiter Touches Venus Ketu, Mars combination. It denotes separation or divorce for male Neptune. If the progress of Jupiter in its rounds touches Venus Rahu, Venus Mars Ketu, it denotes untimely death to wife. Whenever progress of Jupiter in its rounds touches Mars, it denotes marriage for uh, marriage prospects for female. 
if progressive jupiter touches mars ketu there will be separation or divorce at that period so mars ketu suppose progressive jupiter touches mars ketu so there will be separation or divorce at that period whenever progressive jupiter in its rounds touches male male planets sun jupiter mars it gives male progeny and if progressive jupiter touches female planets venus moon it gives female progeny so this is we have to use this concept when we are predicting progeny if progressive jupiter touches male and female planets simultaneously the native will have both male and female children because that is a 12 years period so suppose the native got two or three children so there will be suppose only male planets are aspecting uh, that house then only male children will be born if female planets are also aspecting then female children will be born so if both male and female planets are aspecting that particular house in which jupiter is progressing then the native will get both male and female children if progressive jupiter touches mercury it gives twin babies so when we are talking about uh, twin twins so in progressing jupiter whenever it touches mercury it gives two babies uh, twin babies so this is generally uh, some rules uh, <coughs> generally whenever transit jupiter aspects uh, a particular planet uh, sir what, can i what is happening yes sir pradeep here yes uh, all all this progression effects of the jupiter uh, we, we will be in my opinion will be in action e promises there in the chart otherwise you will get in the progression of jupiter if promise is not there then how it will be happen what what you repeat once again sir repeat once again you are telling no there is no cut ha i am telling that if in my natal chart there is no promise of my marriage yeah that then is when yes, yes then that, is, huh. that, is, that is what we learnt already sir so marriage yoga house uh, yoga uh, vehicle uh, yoga yes sir. no 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 first, let me fi- let first. me finish yes let me finish first uh, yes. fasting everything should be promise in my chart then when it will act that depends on the transit a, a progression of jupiter yes that is what i am telling just let me ah. let me discuss the chart now we have ah. not discussed anything so we are just starting this chart that is we have hmm. to tell, first we have to predict yogas and everything that is what i am going to do now so in this horoscope actually hmm. you see uh for example if we talk about the first we have to talk about we have to give predictions about the native hmm. so jupiter is here uh, connected with sun that is popularity and moreover jupiter and sun this is connected this is divatma samyoga first we have to discuss only whenever we are going to predict uh, jupiter rounds first we have to take uh, wh- what is promised and what is not promised that is first we have to predict right so here jupiter and sun hmm. this is a jivatma samyoga so the native is a popular person that is one thing and uh, hmm. he is he is popular because his his father was chief minister hmm. and generally so when the parent parents are in high position these people also recognize general hmm. so here jupiter is what actually with sun so this is a jivatma samyoga and the saturn is also being retro connected to jupiter so dharma karma adi yoga so yes. here two two yogas are here uh, formed moreover rahu gives uh, multiplication so this yoga will be multiplied both yogas will be multiplied here so whether it is danger to father or male progeny that is a different thing. here we are talking about only material things so here uh, this jivatma samyoga is popularity yoga and saturn and jupiter this is actually uh, dharma karma yoga this is uh, 
position, a respectable position. So, when Jupiter is connected with these three planets, Saturn, Jupiter and Sun, whether they are enemy or uh, whether they are friends, that is immaterial, Rahu generally multiplies the qualities of these planets. So, these yogas. So, here, popularity yoga this man has. So, as Rahu multiplies this popularity yoga, the NATO will have big popularity yoga. That is, we have to keep in mind. So, Rahu is there. It is uh, um, giving death to the NATO and father. You forget about this, all these things. Rahu is in terms of death. Death is inevitable. So, death is common to everybody. So, here, what other qualities Rahu gives? So, sir, Rahu, uh, sir, Rahu, sir, Sun, Jupiter, let me, Rahu. Let, let me finish. Let okay. me finish. Okay. So, because uh, without, uh, let me finish and then uh, you will come to a conclusion. Okay, sir. So, suppose Rahu generally gives uh, different uh, um, qualities. Suppose uh, um, here uh, the NATO <coughs> may have uh, corrupted <coughs> and he may be unethical. So, such thing, such qualities also Rahu will give. So, definitely uh, the Jupiter is here, the Netu. The Netu is corrupted and the Netu is unethical regarding finance because Rahu is aspecting Venus also anti clockwise. And Rahu is also aspecting Mercury also. Mercury is business and Venus is money. So, in his business, so, definitely this man is involved in corruption or unethical, unethical methods to earn money. So, this is what Rahu is here signifying. Rahu signifies his involvement in corruption, no doubt. So, that's why first he is a popular person and uh, uh, big popularity he has, that is one thing. And he will get, uh, in his life, he will get respectable position that respectable position will be multiplied big respect in the society big position big topmost rank in his life he will get so no doubt so at the same time what kind of person he is so jupiter is actually being aspected by moon so moon is here fickle mindedness and cheating quality also and jupiter is uh, here uh, uh, connected with the Venus and Mercury, though it is not retro, because Rahu is retro, so that's why Jupiter gets the quality of unethical things, uh, unethical activities. He will execute unethical activities uh, regarding business and money. So that's why uh, he was also arrested later. That is a different. We will discuss. So now he has. Uh, Dharma Karma Adi Yoga, Jeevatma Kam Yoga, which is here, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, multiplied by Rahu. Moreover, Venus and at the same time, Venus and Mercury are together. This is called Lakshmi Narayana Yoga. This is called Lakshmi Narayana Yoga. So, this yoga is also multiplied because Rahu is in retro aspecting Venus and Mercury. That's why these people generally become, uh, just because Venus and Mercury are together, so we may be rich, but we may not become a Kaurpati or multimillionaire. So, when Rahu aspects this combination, so our finance, uh, our financial position will be uh, multiplied here. So, he is a, uh, now a multimillionaire, we can say, or even multi-billionaire also. So, he, he acquired so much money. So that is because, so this money is actually through wrong way. Uh, so I mean unethical methods or corrupted methods, whatever it may be. So he earned money. So here, three important yogas he got. One is uh, Dharma Karmadi Yoga, one is Jivatma Sam Yoga, and one is uh, Lakshmi Narayana Yoga. But these three yogas are multiplied by Ra. So that is the speciality of this uh, and now, another thing is, so, Venus is here uh, actually, uh, now let's talk about his father. So, father is here, son. So, moreover, his grandfather also, Rahu is grandfather. 
what type of grandfather he he got actually so grandfather his grandfather is also has this yoga sun and jupiter connected so his his grandfather was also a popular person he was also popular person and uh, politically uh, he was also a good uh, cadder and his father when it comes to his father's son sun is aspected by saturn and jupiter so it is government and the politics so his father became mp uh, mla mp and chief minister okay so because of the sun com combined this because sun is uh, here uh, conjoined with saturn jupiter so that is uh, dharma karma yoga for his father and uh, moreover jupiter and uh, uh, jupiter and sun both are connected here that is also jivatma samyuga for father also so that's why his father was popular person and moreover uh, jupiter is with the rahu rahu gives again big position that's why in politics his father became chief minister so like this sun combinations also we can discuss and one more thing is here rahu is connecting here sun this is panchama dosha so when rahu is here uh, sun is uh, here affected by uh, rahu i mean inflicted by rahu uh, then sun becomes a zero so in terms of children in terms of death only okay so now sun is with rahu so this is panchama dosha because of this panchama dosha panchama dosha means in natural bachakra fifth house is sun and sun's one dispositor is here sun so if sun is with rahu rahu is dosha based on past karmas that's why it is treated to be panchama dosha whenever the netu has panchama dosha the netu will not beget male children that's why this vyas jagannamohan reddy did not beget male children he got only two female children only and uh, here sun is with rahu whatever planet is with rahu already we have discussed accidental death so rahu is here untimely death so death may be accidental or unnatural so here rahu is with uh, sun and uh, sun is with uh, saturn also so that's why when we are predicting death you see this type of uh, for example rahu sun jupiter saturn this combination generally these people will die only in uh, uh, what is it called when when they are active in uh, uh, their uh, status designation like he, he he died when he was chief minister so when he had a designation these people die with a designation so this 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 happens so here sun rahu untimely death to father so that is the thing here so in his life major incidents his father death and later he was arrested so here mars and ketu this is actually we have discussed mars and ketu uh, this is imprisonment yoga or legal problems so legal problems for what generally here mars is exchanged with venus so venus comes over here and venus is supposed to be so here mars is exchanged and venus comes over here in exchange with mars so venus is here exchanged now mars is connected to venus so here we have one yoga venus and mercury lakshmi narayan yoga so actually this man got lakshmi narayan yoga and which is multiplied by rahu by its aspect but venus and venus and uh, at the same time uh, mars exchanged mars is also property landed property so this is uh, in fertile unfertile land so mercury is fertile land and uh, mars is unfertile land so he got estates uh, he got uh, you know uh, some 
estates, uh, uh, um, agricultural fields and everything. He earned a lot. Even Bangalore, uh, around 50 acres or like that, his uh, guest house will be there. So even in Hyderabad, his house will be multi-storied buildings. So because Rahu is multi and uh, uh, Venus is building. So Rahu is aspecting this combination, Venus and Mercury. That's why all his houses are uh, multi-storied buildings. Only house is multi-storied building. And guest house is multi-storied building like that. So anyhow, when Mars is here connected to Venus, there is nothing wrong. But Mars is already connected to Ketu. So if Mars is connected to Ketu, then the thing, uh, legal problem. And uh, at the same time, Moon is there, conspiracy. So actually when his father uh, died uh, in power, so he wanted to become chief minister, but uh, then government, Congress government did not accept Sonia Gandhi. So he uh, came outside and he established his own party. Then uh, Congress government, Sonia Gandhi government, hatched some conspiracy and uh, uh, so he was arrested on, on the basis of uh, quid pro quo case. Because you know, when father was in power, um, he uh, sanctioned many orders in favor of his friends. So his friends invested in his companies. There is nothing fraud is there. Mutual understand. So their friends invested in his company. He got uh, some special orders for their friends in some other uh, new organizations which they are going to establish. So that is what happened. So anyhow, uh, on the charges, on these charges, he was arrested. The arrested date is uh, 28, 8, 1996. So we will discuss uh, when he was arrested, uh, 27, 5, 2012. Uh, the transit also I will show. So now, so these are the major incidents happened in his life. And later he, has, he came outside from uh, jail and he established uh, his own party and uh, he became chief minister. So these are the important incidents generally happened in his life. So here you see uh, the first round of Jupiter 0 to 12, sister born in 1974. So actually after he is the only, he is the elder actually. So after uh, he he was born, he was uh, actually uh, one sister born to him. And here uh, you see Mars and Venus are exchanged here. So whenever Mars is aspecting any female planet or Mars is uh, like this uh, exchanged, so there is a possibility of um, getting sister. No doubt that uh, definitely one sister will be there. So this is the rule. So when we are talking about siblings, uh, because you people, uh, we, I did not cover this Sunday people. I did not cover siblings and all these things. Just I am giving one clue. So if Mars is aspecting Venus, then definitely there will be one uh, female. Uh, one sister will be there. So anyhow, he got one sister. And uh, you see, in the second house, so Jupiter, when it comes to second house, uh, in its round, in its round, or uh, in, it, in its first round, 0 to 12, Jupiter, when it comes to second house, so this second house is aspecting again Venus here. So that is one thing. And moreover, you see, this first house actually is aspected by moon. These 12 years, what is going to happen? First thing is here, he got one sister. So here, moon is aspecting Jupiter. Moon is a female planet. So moon is aspecting this house. Moreover, uh, here Mars and Venus both are exchanged here. So they are not, uh, uh, no, no planet is here uh, perfect, I mean uh, strong. That's why these aspects we cannot count. Only moon aspect we will count. Moon is a female planet. That's why here the native will get sister, not a daughter because he is a child. So that's why we can say the native will get one uh, female uh, as a sister uh, in the first round, 0 to 12. So actually only there are, uh, these people are only two 
this guy and his sister to their parents. But here in the first round, so you forget uh, about elders because you are born only that time. That's why uh, we are talking about here. After your birth, what happened? Are there any children in your family to your father? Yes, we can predict. Suppose this house is aspected by Venus moon, female planets. Here Venus is exchanged, but it is not strong. So that's why we are considering only moon. Moon is aspecting here. So Mars is also aspecting, but Mars is not strong because this is exchanged with Venus. That's why we are not uh, considering Mars. Uh, more, moreover, in the second house, Mercury is there, uh, enemy is there. So that's why there is fighting. So we can't say. Mm. So here in this first house is aspected by moon. Yeah. So that's why definitely this native will get sister, no doubt. So here uh, in, its, in its round, uh, when it comes to Jupiter comes to uh, here Capricorn, Jupiter is aspecting here, uh, we can say Venus. So whether it is aspecting female planet or not, that is we count here. So it is aspecting Venus. And moreover, when, when Mercury is connected to Venus, so we are talking about here Mercury. Mercury, if Mercury is with female planets, Mercury will be female. So that is what we have learnt. When Mercury is with female, so Mercury will be female. So he, this is also female planet. Mercury is also female planet. So that's why he got uh, here uh, in 1974 this man got uh, uh, we we have we don't have exactly date of birth and uh, i will give you oh, yes uh, i have got it somewhere so i will give you that date of birth also then we can check whether it is aspecting uh, female planets or not like that we can check so next thing is in these 12 years what happened his father is a successful politician and become LL, MLA and MP here. So here, this house 0 to 12, Sun is in this house. So Sun is father here. So Sun is with Saturn and Jupiter, Dharma Karma Yoga. So that's why his father definitely be in highest position. So that's why his father became MLA and MP these 12 years. So these are the significant uh, things happened in his life in the first round. So when it comes to second round, 12 to 24. So here there is no planet. Jupiter is here. And Jupiter is being aspected by Venus Mercury. So Venus is education. So 12 to 24. He was a first class student actually. This was Jagan Mondetti. And... Uh, he studied very well because Mercury, Venus both are there. So Mercury gives uh, here knowledge. So anyhow, he studied very well. Uh, with the distinction, he passed whatever he studied. Actually, he was uh, uh, he studied arts group, become. So anyhow, become. How can we say because Mercury is with the uh, Venus economics, and uh, here Sun is. Uh, uh, civics and political science like that. Mercury is Jupiter in the second house. So Jupiter and Mercury combination generally commerce. So like that, uh, even based on Mercury also, we can predict his education. And now 12 to 24, this is the period for education for anybody, right? So he studied uh, become and even, uh, uh, um, I don't know, master degree. He, he studied also master degree like MBA or something. Uh, I don't remember exactly. So anyhow, even higher studies also he did. So here, 12 to 24, very good period because this progressing Jupiter is aspecting, aspected by Mercury. Mercury is education. And at the same time, Venus is also aspecting. So at the age of 20 to 24, uh, even 20 to 24, he started some business. He started some business uh, uh, related uh, uh, this, uh, what is it called, construction field at the age of 23, I think. So construction field and Venus is construction and Mercury is real estate. So he invested his money 
in real estate okay he invested uh real estate and like that so he was he he married also at the age of 23 or 24 and uh, let me check uh, here 28 uh, this is is uh, Yeah, 28th August 1996, he got married. So this is his chart. Actually, you, you see his chart. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn both are retro here. Jupiter and Saturn. So when he got married, you see. Sir, can you give the chart? Sir? Yes, this is the chart. No, where? I am not getting the chart. Can't you see? No, no chart is there. The chart is there on the screen. You see it. Chart is there on the screen. So you might have some problem there. No, it's, it's so so small. I am not able to read. <laughs> okay, okay. So we can't do it. Uh, we can't expand it because uh, this is uh, our explorer. Uh -huh. So yeah. uh, can, can you say one, just just the position of the planets? Sir, let me tell, let me finish. Okay, I'm telling. So Jupiter is here retro and uh, uh, when Jupiter is aspecting Venus, so Jupiter is on Jupiter, at the same time Jupiter is aspecting Mercury and Venus. So here Jupiter is aspecting Venus when he got married. Jupiter is in Sagittarius, even transit Jupiter is also on Jupiter. At the same time, it is it becomes retro. So that's why it is aspecting 12th house Venus. Okay. So that's why our rule uh, here uh, fulfilled or not. So when transiting Jupiter is aspecting natal Venus, then marriage would take place. Okay. So here the logic what I am trying to tell you is Sir second round father ke liye to bohut acha raha hai na Yeah yeah first let me finish we are talking about here marriage okay mm -hmm. So here in the second round he got married okay he got married at the age of 23 So 23 is actually what 23 is uh, is uh, um, second round So progressive Jupiter is supposed to be in this house and this house is being aspected by Venus. So that is when Venus is aspecting our progressive Jupiter in the second round, marriage will take place in the second round. Because generally, you see, before 24 or after 24, we have to identify marriage. Suppose Venus is aspecting the second house of our Jupiter uh, in our horoscope, then we can predict that the marriage will take place before 24. And suppose Venus is aspecting the third house, then it will be third round. Our marriage will take place in the third round. Third round means 24 to 36. So it will be delay of marriage, we can say. Okay. Suppose Saturn is aspecting Venus, we can say delay or Venus is hammered in between Rahu and Ketu. No marriage. Suppose Jupiter aspects then marriage may take place. These are all marriage principles we discuss. Here, as Venus is aspecting second house of Jupiter, the marriage will take place definitely before 24. So that's why at that time we have to check Jupiter is aspecting Venus back. So Jupiter is aspecting in uh, 2000, uh, uh, what is this called? 70. So his marriage uh, took place uh, 96. Uh, 1996, 96, at the age of 23. So Saturn, Jupiter is aspecting, transit Jupiter is aspecting Venus by being retro. That is one thing. And one more thing you observe, in which month, here Venus and Mars both are aspecting here uh, Jupiter. So in, in, in the natal chart, in the natal chart, Venus and Mars both are aspecting here 
Jupiter. So that's why we can say uh, Mars is aspecting uh, these exchanged Venus uh, and Venus is aspecting Jupiter. So that's why we can say both are matched here. Monthly planet is matched here and at the same time uh, this, uh, what is this called? Uh, yearly planet matching here. So up to um, one, uh, up to a particular month we can say. So you may ask, sir, uh, the Venus uh, uh, aspects Jupiter every uh, second house, every third house generally, 1593711, how, how? So we have to check uh, Ketu is aspecting or not like that. So many things we have to check. So anyhow. Sir, a rule you have told that if Jupiter is behind Venus, then the merit life is difficult. No, no, no. Uh. Jupiter is retro. Transit Jupiter is retro in this RS. Okay. In transit, transit RS. Okay. So transit retro, transit Jupiter is supposed to be on Venus only when it is retro. If it is not retro, then it is difficult, right? Retro, hota, dikkat hai, yeah. So here marriage is matching and education is matching. Education is good, good at education. He was. So like this, uh, this uh, uh, second house, I mean uh, Capricorn is aspecting. Venus, higher knowledge. Venus is marriage. And so marriage. Yeah, Venus and Mercury. Here, Mercury has Jupiter in the second house. So, where Mercury is associated with Jupiter, Rahu. Rahu is aspecting Mercury. Bahuvidya Yoga. Yes, he did. Thank you, sir. So, so, moreover, educationally good and marriage also took place in the second, uh, what is it called? Second house. Uh, second round, in the second round. Moreover, he started business also here. He started business. Which business? Actually, that is also men mentioning here. Some people will ask, Sir, you are telling that all the planets are connecting to my Saturn. Which profession I will do first? So, which, prof which planet is aspecting uh, your uh, uh, progressing Jupiter? That profession you will do first. So now here you see Venus is aspecting here and Mercury is aspecting this house. So he started real estate. He started real estate. He, he started land related business, real estate. So, moreover, uh, construction and construction. Construction field, uh, they got so much profit uh, here. Uh, he earned money only through construction. So, construction Venus plus Mars? Lenge only Venus, generally. Venus is enough and Mars is also connected. They are connected. That the means te technical. Yes, yes. yes. So this is also connected here. 12 to 24, he started some construction company. And even now still his wife is running uh, these construction companies and uh, real estate companies. That is their business, actually. So now uh, this man uh, started business and business is good also. Mm, that is fine. Venus and Mercury both. Are, Venus is aspecting money and Mercury is aspecting business. So both are aspecting here transiting Jupiter. Sir, is this chart say hum uh, uh, wife ke progression ko bhi le sakte hain kya? Wife, wife progression. Ah. Say, no. is this chart say same chart say. Jupiter only for anything. Not Nein. wife, wife progression we cannot uh, predict like that. We have to take her chart one. Okay. Nein, mera, mera kehne ka matlab same is same chart say hum agar wife uh, ki progression. If it is female, female, if it is female, you are telling. If okay. it is female chart, then Jupiter is also Jeeva Lagna for, for male and female side. Okay. okay. So now we have completed second. Is it clear so far? First round, uh, one sister and first round father became a uh, politician and MLA and everything. And here, uh, second round not completed. His father also still. His father... Sir, why? His father is 
ఎమ్మెల్యే ఎంపీ మెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పార్లమెంట్ సో హియర్ యూ సి దట్ ఈస్ ద లాజిక్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టెల్ సో యాక్చువల్లీ సన్ సన్ ఈజ్ యాస్పెక్టింగ్ సెకండ్ హౌస్ కామన్లీ బట్ హియర్ మోర్ ఓవర్ యూ సి దిస్ రూలింగ్ ప్లానెట్ వీ హ్యావ్ నాట్ డిస్కస్ ఇట్ సో ఫార్ హూ ఈస్ ద రూలింగ్ ప్లానెట్ హియర్ రూలింగ్ ప్లానెట్ ఈజ్ ఫర్ క్యాప్రికాన్ సాటర్న్ సాటర్న్ ఈజ్ రూలింగ్ ప్లానెట్ సో సాటర్న్ ఈజ్ యాస్పెక్టింగ్ విచ్ ప్లానెట్స్ హియర్ సో సాటర్న్ ఈజ్ యాస్పెక్టింగ్ వినిస్ అండ్ మెర్క్యూరీ and saturn is retro and it is aspecting sun and jupiter so saturn is aspecting uh, saturn is aspecting sun and jupiter and saturn is aspecting even mars also so mars generally gives some disturbances even for his father in his profession so at that time when he was at the age of 12 to 24 his father struggled a lot generally he was isolated in the party and uh, anyhow though he was mp his father suffered some something uh, in his uh, profession so here second house sir a question yes so in the second round uh, for example it's uh, capricorn so the dispositive is saturn so you you will look at the aspects on saturn or you will you are looking at the aspects that saturn is making on other planets which planet so saturn both are is same aspecting? both are same both are same suppose saturn is aspecting or other planet is aspecting suppose venus is aspecting saturn and saturn is aspecting venus okay so uh, okay all of the 1593711 yes 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 so saturn is here aspecting venus and mercury so that's why these 12 to 24 this neto generally financially good because saturn is aspecting venus okay and uh, moreover he got married also because saturn is also aspecting venus here and saturn is aspecting mercury so mercury is land land related so he also started business whatever saturn is aspecting here so saturn is profession karka right which profession he will do because first saturn is in which house it is in taurus taurus is what even based on the zodiac sign taurus is money uh venus uh, the uh, taurus is ruled by venus venus is generally the same venus is construction venus is money uh, the same the, the same field the neto is in so finance related and uh, uh, land related construction related landed property and construction related so he is in the same construction field even saturn posited in the house of luxury luxury houses uh, luxury luxury things so he he constructed all luxury things store crores of rupees 1 crore 2 crores villas like that he got so much profit so even saturn profession karaka he is also aspecting venus and mercury first he was in business and saturn is retro so that is we have to check when saturn is uh, which planets uh, in its uh, uh, um, where it is posited it is aspecting venus and mercury this is business and construction business and later saturn is uh, converted to i mean uh, uh, placed in the 12th house so now saturn is aspecting sun sun is politics so that's why so he started business and everything and he also played some role in the politics he also played in the role in politics so this is one thing and now uh in the third round now we are coming into third round so his father yes saturn is aspecting here uh sun and rahu so sun is father and uh, at the same time saturn is aspecting mars also so that's why when we are talking about sun father so this father is though he was a mp because of disputes uh, uh, in the party so he was isolated and he struggled a lot so there so later when it comes to 24 to 36 so now uh, in this uh, 12 years here again saturn is uh, you know saturn is again uh, here the ruling planet so now here saturn uh, the transit the progress of jupiter entered into 24 to 36 years in uh, aquarius here ketu is there ketu is 
actually Rahu Ketu, whenever progressive Jupiter touches, there will be death. So, here in the third round, you see his grandfather, his grandfather was here killed at 23-5-1998. So, his grandfather was died. He was killed. And later, so that is one death, one death here. And uh, again, now, so here you see, uh, what is the ruling planet here? Saturn. Saturn is aspecting whom? Rahu, Sun and Jupiter. So, Saturn is aspecting Rahu. At the same time, Saturn is aspecting Mars and Ketu. So, that is what I told you. Suppose Saturn is aspecting Mars and Ketu, there will be murder, there will be assassination. So, there will be uh, legal problems, there will be arrest, there will be imprisonment. Okay. So, now Saturn is aspecting Mars Ketu. So, Saturn is aspecting here Rahu, Sun, Jupiter also, of course. But here the things happened in his life. So, every, every one, this is a family. We are not single one. We are family. So, in the family, many things happen. That is all, we are affected by the happenings in our life. So, it may be the death of father or mother or uh, uh, like here, uh, grandfather like that. So, here Saturn is aspecting Rahu and Saturn is aspecting Mars and Ketu. So, there will be murder or assassination or legal problem or whatever it may be. So, now, so his grandfather died. That is one thing. So, here one bad thing gone. So, Mars and Ketu here, one bad thing. That's gone with the death of uh, his grandfather. Now, again, uh, this Saturn is aspecting whom? Sun. This Saturn is aspecting with Jupiter and Rahu. So, here, Sun is with Jupiter and Rahu. So, Sun, Father is here, Jupiter, Ra, Jupiter, Saturn, this is Dharma Karma Yoga. And this Father's Dharma Karma Yoga is also uh, multiplied by Rahu. So, that's why his father became Chief Minister in between 24 to 36 because Saturn is here aspecting Sun and Jupiter, Rahu. Okay. So, again, uh, here you see uh, in the fourth round, in the third round, in the third round, his grandfather died. Father became Chief Minister 2004-2009. And his father also died on uh, 2nd, 9, 2000, uh, 2009. So, okay. So, you see here, uh, this uh, Mars Ketu effect even for his father also. So, it was, his father was, his grandfather was killed, uh, mother, that was mother, and his father in power also died in helifad accident, crash. So, here Mars and Ketu, these are always giving problems, no doubt. Mars and Ketu gives problems. So, for the grandfather, it has given death, for father, it has given death, and at the same time, good also. Sun is with Jupiter Rahu, Dharma Karma Yoga uh, is there for father also. So that's why father became chief minister. That is a good thing. He got it two times. And this 24 to 36, Saturn is here in both houses. And Saturn is considered to be in this house and in both houses. So Saturn is here. When it comes to this house, even Venus is exchanged with Mars. That's why Venus is in both houses. So, Saturn is aspecting here Venus. So, Venus and at the same time Mars also. That's why when his father was in power, he earned crores of rupees. So, he became multi-millionaire. This, this during six years period. His father was six years as uh, chief minister. Two terms he won election. But second time after, uh, in his uh, tenure, only he lived one year only. So here, uh, you see, check 2004, his father became chief minister. And 2009, he died. So that means only six years, his father was in power in six years. This six years, this man earned a lot of rupees, crores of rupees, because this uh, uh, here, retro, uh, I mean, uh, retro Saturn is aspecting exchanged Venus. So Venus is here 
with uh, mercury and uh, venus is with uh, mars so he and cross of okay. at the same time again legal problem so when his father died when his father died what happened he had to leave his party uh, his father's party and he he wanted to establish his own uh, you know uh, his own uh, political party that's why then conspiracy was hatched against him so uh, legal problems uh, he, he had to face so at the age of 20 uh, these are uh, uh, 24 to 36 so immediately after his father died legal problems started so cba entered so it was uh, uh, attacking all his uh, financial companies and uh, his business like that so here when saturn is aspecting sun it give um, good things to his father when saturn is aspecting jupiter his field also his his business grew his uh, he became multimillionaire here in the third round um, we can say this is golden period for him golden period for him regarding business so that's why there will be good things and bad things because this is 12 years is uh, very uh, long period so here he earned a lot uh, he earned a lot because saturn is aspecting uh, jupiter these 12 years in uh, this uh, Jupiter rounds, Saturn is aspecting Venus. Uh, so, Jupiter Venus here. He earned crores of rupees, that is one thing. And his grandfather died, his father died, and his father became uh, chief minister. So, these incidents happened in 24 to 36. Now, now you see uh, 36 to 48. This is the period actually uh, ruled by Jupiter itself. So, Jupiter is aspected by which planets we have to check. So, generally, Jupiter is aspected. Sir, sir by... a question. Hai ki, uh... Let me complete. Let me complete. I will, I will talk to you. So, okay. Because my flow will be, uh, you see, disturbed. I will talk to you. So, here you note down points, whatever you, you got an idea. So, 36 to 48, here Jupiter is the ruling planet. So, Jupiter is aspected by which planets? Jupiter is aspecting Saturn. So, Saturn is profession. So, professionally, he is good. And this house, which house? Pisces. This is aspected by Venus. So, Venus is business is good. And Mercury and business is good. So, his, his business is good. Even 36 to 48. At that time, he paid crores of rupees uh, in the form of taxes also to the government of India. So, such a highest pay, pay, tax payee in India also he became during this 36 to 48. Because both Venus and Mercury are aspecting. At the same time, you see who is uh, here, uh, the lord of this house, Jupiter. So, this Jupiter is aspected by Saturn. So, he became member of parliament mp so in the fourth house, fourth period he established business he established a party and he became mp even uh, he resigned actually actually he he was re-elected as mp actually He was re-elected as MP. He was re-elected MP. Actually, this man was became MP here with his father. He joined 
politics active politics so this is the third round how it happened let us see his bug his father became chief minister so here saturn is aspecting the jupiter himself also in the third round third round uh, uh, honor who is the honor of third round saturn so saturn is aspecting here jupiter so this man also has saturn and jupiter dharma karma adi yoga and uh, jupiter and sun jivatma sam yoga so this man saturn is connected to sun politics as we discussed earlier so saturn in taurus it is aspecting venus and mercury he was in business uh, real estate and construction business and saturn is retro and aspecting sun also so that's why so in the third round so third round lot is saturn so saturn is aspecting saturn and jupiter dharma karma adi yoga and sun is connected to saturn politics that's why in the third round he was he joined in active politics and he became member of parliament along with his father cm his father is cm and this man was member of parliament member of parliament so he was also in politics in the third round and now as he was in politics he wanted to become chief minister otherwise uh, he was not in politics nobody expected that he would become chief minister after his father so as he was in active politics he was uh, connected to all all uh, his mlas because at the time of giving uh, you see uh, these tickets so he played major role and many people uh, were given tickets uh, on his suggestion only the son uh, this man suggestion his father gave tickets to many mlas that's why even mlas also after his death uh, tried to make him cm but the uh, central government did not accept because that is congress government so that's why this man came outside and he started his own business i mean own political uh, party so 36 to 48 business is good because mercury and venus are aspecting and the owner of this house jupiter himself uh, is with sun politics and saturn so dharma karma adi yoga jivatma samyogi is here so 36 to 48 so at that time what happened he started his own political party but he was arrested in 2012 so this man was arrest, arrested in 2012 he was arrested in 2012 so 9 8 2012 let us take the horoscope one minute this is his father's death so let's check his father's death so in this horoscope uh, jupiter is retro here when his father died you see rahu is actually in the house of capricorn rahu has you know a second aspect that is very powerful rahu's second aspect is also powerful 159 and second aspect even second house direction also so in this horoscope when his father died so rahu is actually when his father died in capricorn in it is aspecting sun that is one thing and one more thing is here saturn can to work together yeah so here sun is in the direction of actually when his father died uh, the transit sun is aspecting his natal rahu so actually transit saturn uh, sun is here sun is actually father this is transit saturn so transit sun is aspecting natal rahu so that means father death the rahu is a death signifier and the transit rahu is here transit rahu is aspecting rahu transit rahu is aspecting retro sun retro and sun is here 
So these things generally happen when his father died. Moreover, here transit uh, one minute, let me check it. Uh, this is not. Uh, This is the horoscope. So you see, Saturn, when, when transit Saturn is aspecting natal Rahu, so when we were discussing transit Rahu, transit Saturn, you, I think you might have, you remember, I think. Transit Rahu uh, aspecting natal Saturn or transit Saturn is aspecting natal Rahu, there will be death news in the house. So there will be some death in the house. So that rule we have discussed. So you remember transit Rahu, transit Saturn. When transit Rahu is aspecting natal Saturn, there will be some death news. Or transit Saturn is aspecting natal, uh, natal Rahu, there will be some death news. So here uh, transit Saturn is also along with the uh, sun. Saturn is Transit Saturn is also along with Sun when his father died. So Saturn is now aspecting natal rock. Okay. Natal so, Ketu also. Yes. Moreover, moreover, transit uh, transit Rahu also aspecting natal Saturn also. Natal Saturn. Transit Saturn is also aspecting natal Saturn. So it may be you see. Transit Ketu is aspecting natal uh, tra uh, Saturn or transit Rahu is aspecting natal Saturn also the same, the same thing. So that is the point you have to uh, added uh, in death concept. So transit Saturn is aspecting natal Rahu or transit Rahu is aspecting natal Saturn also death will take place in the house. It may be the death of somebody in the house. So it is the father's death because transit sun at that time is aspecting uh, Rahu is here and even transit Rahu is aspecting sun here. So that is the danger. So this thing happened, his father died here and now when he was arrested, what was the position? So he was arrested uh, actually 27th 5, 2012. was arrested evening uh, 5.30 or 6th. It is uh, the announcement uh, actually come 19, 7. So what is the position when he was arrested actually? So here Venus is retro. Saturn is retro and uh, Venus is retro. Yeah. When he was arrested, Ketu is transiting in Taurus. When this man, uh, the, in this horoscope, Ketu is on Saturn when he was arrested. So here, transit T Ketu. Karma Bandhan. So Ketu is here 
Yes. So, yes, uh, this is Bandana. T Ketu is uncertain. So, transit Ketu is uncertain. So, at that time, when he was arrested, actually, transit Ketu around one year completed, around six months are left. So, again, Ketu also, uh, here also, he was in jail. One and a half year he was in jail. So, that's why when Saturn is retro, whenever Ketu aspects three, year, three years, the NATO will get problems. The NATO will get problem three years. Because one year harassment cases and uh, he was uh, summoned to CBI office and uh, like this one year disturbed. He was disturbed. And then he was arrested. And one and a half year, one and a half year he was in jail. And uh, later also, he had to visit uh, many, uh, you see, courts for uh, these things, even after uh, bail, he got bail. So here, one and a half year he suffered. Actually, this period is three years. When Ketu is uh, transiting Saturn to uh, particularly this uh, um, here. So exactly we can tell that suppose if you take uh, degree wise, Ketu is, uh, transit Ketu is very Saturn. Saturn which degree? At that degree, actually, he was arrested. So, pinpointedly, if you want to tell, that's why Ketu, when Ketu entered this house, uh, uh, it takes around eight months, he was left, he was free, and after remand, he was arrested, I think. So, around six months, seven months, uh, around eight months, he will be in the jail. Uh, in this uh, transit period, transit Ketu in uh, Taurus. And later again, Ketu is in Saturn again. So that's why one and a half year he was in jail. So like this, uh, particularly politicians who have this type of Saturn uh, retro. So around three years, they will be blocked. They will be in jail or somewhere like this. And moreover, when he, when he was arrested, so you see other combinations also. And Rahu is where? So Ketu is in uh, Taurus means Rahu will be in Scorpio. Rahu will be in Scorpio. And at the same time, so Rahu in Scorpio. So Rahu is on which planets? Rahu is on Venus and Rahu is Mercury. So actually, Rahu is influencing Venus also, Venus and Rahu. When Rahu entered, when Rahu entered on Rahu Venus, definitely Rahu is unethical and Venus is money, black money or illegal money or whatever it may be. So that's why when Rahu is on Rahu Venus and particularly Mercury, so through business, so through friends here, Mercury is friend also. Through friends, unethically, he acquired some money. So that is the allegation. Through quid pro quo case. So many many friends, many friends of this man, this NATO, uh, he, this NATO, through his friends, he got so much of money, source of money. So that is the allegation. When Rahu is on Venus Mercury, generally, the NATO will earn money, unethical money through friends. So that's why he was arrested along with his friends. Some other organizations also disturbed because of this guy. So that is uh, his position actually when he was arrested. So when he was arrested, transit Ketu is on Saturn and Rahu, transit Rahu was on Venus and Mercury. Moreover, even Mars and Venus both are here. Uh, uh, you know, exchanged. That's why in these both uh, uh, houses, when transit Rahu, when transit Rahu is, uh, comes on Mars Ketu, so it will be, there will be more uh, di disturbances. So he was, uh, uh, three years, he was so much disturbed because of this transit. So this period, why he was arrested? Because Jupiter is here aspected by uh, the ruling planet Jupiter is aspected by Mars. Mars is aspecting Jupiter here. 
and the saturn is aspecting jupiter and the saturn is aspecting venus so business as far as business is concerned he got course of rupees that is a different thing and legal problems also he faced uh, when his father was in power so he earned course of rupees through unethical uh, uh, methods through unethical methods so that's why so here moon is when when ketu uh, is on transit saturn so this man uh, actually was arrested so next what happened so he was arrested and he came outside anyhow and he became chief minister in the same round 35 2019 so here the ruling planet is what actually the ruling planet is jupiter in the fourth round so at the end of this yeah now in the fourth round he became uh, chief minister in the fourth round right 46 year at the age of 46 so when he became chief minister at that time 36 to 48 he was at the age of 46 so the ruling planet of this uh, house is jupiter jupiter is with uh, saturn this is called dharma karma yoga and jupiter is with sun and these two yogas generally in his horoscope uh, multiplied by rahu so that's why this is the period when he became chief minister because jupiter is with sun jupiter is with saturn jupiter is with rahu sun rahu jupiter saturn this is the best combination whoever has this combination definitely the native will be uh, he will get top most rank in his life saturn jupiter sun and rahu this is the very good combination so he became here chief minister at this age uh, at the age of 48 so when he became chief minister what was the uh, uh, 35 2019 he was uh, 12 33 pm he became uh, chief minister what are the here uh, this is marriage this is imprisonment so 35 uh, 2019 he became chief minister evening 5:30 this is vijayawada Thirty-five, two thousand nine. Here, Jupiter and Saturn both are actually retro with the Sun. So, Jupiter and Jupiter is in which house? Jupiter is actually uh, in uh, Scorpio, and Saturn is uh, in Danasu. So, let us see his horoscope. so actually transit jupiter is here uh, i mean saturn is in his horoscope it is retro right so it is aspecting sun that's why we have to count this saturn with the um, politics so this combination should be aspected by any planet so actually transit jupiter is posited where when he became chief minister it was in scorpio but it became retro so that means uh, transit jupiter is where so this is in uh, libra so transit jupiter so now transit jupiter actually it is in scorpio 
it is retro so it is uh, in retro when when any transit planet is retro from 12000 it will give perfect result so that's why here from here transit jupiter is aspecting saturn and sun so moreover saturn and jupiter so saturn jupiter dharma karma yoga and jupiter sun uh, jivatma sam yoga so transit jupiter is aspecting two yogas that is dharma karma yoga jivatma sam yoga which are multiplied by rahu also so this jupiter is aspecting rahu and jupiter guru chandala yoga also so we know guru chandala yoga also gives topmost position that is we have discussed earlier so here i am because all these planets are connected rahu is giving uh, jivatma sam yoga and dharma karma yoga is good so when transit jupiter is aspecting natal saturn sun jupiter rahu the native became chief minister because it is strongly aspecting sun jupiter combination and jupiter sun combination and rahu combination with these two yogas that's why he became chief minister with uh, you see a uh, landslide victory with a huge majority even uh, modi also congratulated him for his uh, spectacular victory so like this uh, transit jupiter is aspecting saturn and jupiter dharma karma yoga so he will be promoted he will rise to great heights so transit jupiter is aspecting jupiter and sun the native will get so much popularity so transit jupiter is aspecting jupiter rahu topmost position in his life so it is at the age of uh, 30 35 and uh, 40 45 like this so he already classed 45 so here uh, 36 year so when he became chief minister his age is 38 uh, i think 46, 46, 46. So, as we discussed earlier, so it means 30, 35, 40, 45. So, one year is balanced here, you know, for everything that you are predicting. So, 35 means it may be 35 or 36. Like that, it is 40, 45 means it may be 45 or 46. Like that. So, here, even Guru Chandala Yoga also gave him. Uh, topmost position like chief minister so like this this man uh, became chief minister and uh, uh, now he is successfully uh, running uh, this uh, 48 to uh, he, he has completed 48 years and now uh, so 2019 46 now already completed this is completed now again you see in the next elections what will happen because in 2024 election then it will be 48 to 60 years again here mars is what actually mars is generally accident mars is a death or something so there will be danger to 48 to 60 for this man already father died already uh, you see uh, here uh, uh, grandfather died now it will be i think mother because the tra the ruling planet mars is aspecting moon moon and ketu so definitely in between 48 to 60 years for him uh, this uh, uh, woman is mother may die so why not this this native because jupiter is actually associated with uh, venus in the second house in the 12th house venus is aspecting or even venus when exchanged with mars it is aspecting uh, jupiter and if jupiter is conjoined with any planets in the second house or 12th house or 7th house friendly planets so jupiter is uh, aspected by moon so here so that is okay that is one thing and venus and mercury in the 12th house that's why this man has no doubt uh, uh, what is it called mm, a long life and even saturn is also being aspected by venus mercury friends though it is retro venus in exchange with mars it is again aspecting venus because mars is not aspecting because venus and mars both are exchanged 
so that's why he will live long no doubt so it will be not the death of his uh, uh, the nato definitely it will be the mother's death in uh, 48 to 60 yeah. so because mars and ketu are mars is aspecting saturn here and one more thing is here saturn is connected with venus and moon ketu so definitely he will have uh, this 48 to 60 i think second term he will continue that is only 5 years this is 12 years so after completion of his 5 years second term so he may be targeted by other parties again and uh, suppose he may lose his uh, uh, suppose uh, he did not succeed of in the third elections now first election he win and second election he will definitely win and in the third election suppose he uh, he did not uh, win then he may be targeted by uh, these uh, opposition parties central government parties again cases and everything so he will have to face uh, these 48 to 60 again the same legal problem because mars is at or it may be death to his uh, mother mother also may be die in an accident or it may be mars ketu is there that is heart attack also so it it may not be accident accidental death so it may be uh, you see accidental death or even uh, mars ketu heart related problems her her mother may die with accident so these things generally will happen second also he will win election no doubt but he will get uh, again uh, this uh, imprisonment yoga is there because his cases are running so until and unless he is in power nothing will happen uh, when if he suppose uh, did not win the election in the third round so second he will win no doubt and in the third round he, if he did not uh, win the election he will be arrested again or uh, these problems he had to face suppose uh, one one other thing may happen suppose this man uh, uh, win the election next time in 2024 he became chief minister but suppose opposition party will be in central government for example like congress again so i i don't predict uh, like that but suppose let us think so then again congress government will trouble him and he will be arrested even he was uh, he will be in chief minister though he is chief minister he will be arrested no doubt and legal problems he will have to face once again uh, in this uh, uh, round jupiter round this is the fifth round in the fifth round or it may be suppose congress government did not form government this time only bjp let us think okay nothing will happen again in the third i mean 2024 to it will be 2028 in the 2028 election this man is defeated and congress government come into power then also there will be problem to this man uh, at least then so bj government already two times so people will be vaccinated with the same system definitely there will be change so it may be even after uh, uh, 2020 so 28 election say definitely this man will be will get problems so whether he is in in power this the second time also he will get power but he will have problem uh, with this uh, um, legal problems so he may be arrested though he, he is in power even in chief minister also such things will happen in the future so this is generally his life and when we are predicting his death particularly we can say so actually rahu is uh, again aspecting 48 to 60 so here the nato uh, rahu is aspecting here uh, this house uh, aries 48 to 60 so there will be death in the house that is already we have discussed it will be mother's death and suppose uh, here 60 he crossed 60 for example so then uh, 60 to 72 years here so after, that will be uh, uh, what is it called five sixth row and after 72 uh, seventh round will start and 72 after 72 ketu is there so up to 72 there will be no danger to his life up to 72 there will be no danger after 72 there will be danger to his life because 
transit Jupiter uh, progress to Jupiter will uh, come to Pisces then. So like this, uh, you see, we have to predict everything uh, particularly based on whatever planets are aspecting particular zodiac where progressing Jupiter is entered. And or the ruling planet, that means uh, that a zodiac in which Jupiter uh, uh, entered, that a zodiac warner, who is the warner we have to check? That warner is aspecting or conjoined with which planets. So that warner gives the results of those uh, planets. So this is the Jupiter round. I, I think I hope uh, I made you understand. So now you ask me any doubts. Sir, if Jupiter is in exchange with any any planet, yes. Then how the progression has to be calculated? So actually, uh, you see, uh, though it is exchange, the first position, uh, that is natal position. Yeah, natal yeah. position we have to take. It may okay. be exchange. It may be exchange. Okay. But the progression will be in sequence to natal uh, position. Same, maybe. same. Though it okay, is, sir. but if it is retro only, we will check. Okay. So, if it is exchange, it means uh, uh, only. Uh, so, then when in this present chart, chart of Jagan, Jagan Mohan Reddy, say, for example, if Moon and Jupiter are exchanged, so uh, after exchange, Jupiter goes with K2 and Moon comes here in place of Jupiter. So, the uh, progression of Jupiter will be considered from Cancer or it will go as in sequence with Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Same, sir. From Same, wherever, no? yeah. wherever yeah. Jupiter is, wherever Jupiter is here uh, sitting, yeah. so then we will consider that place only. Okay, sir. No exchange. We don't consider exchange. So okay, by sir. so exchange planet generally you see uh, it denotes uh, the combination of other planets one. When it exchanged, mm. it will be connected to some other planets. Yeah. So when suppose uh, for example uh, Jupiter is uh, uh, mm -hmm. In Jupiter is, as you said, Jupiter is in Karkataka and Moon yes. is in, uh, for example, uh, Pisces. Okay. Yeah. In this horoscope. Yeah. So, for, for example, Jupiter is here. And Moon is here. Yeah. So, suppose uh, whenever we are talking about the progression uh, here, suppose Jupiter is in the second house. Yeah. So, um, Jupiter, Jupiter is aspected by Moon here. So, we will discuss uh, Moon is none other than Jupiter. So, whenever, whenever mm -hmm. Jupiter touches Moon, so Moon is none other than Jupiter. Jupiter qualities, it has Jupiter qualities because it is exchanged with Jupiter. Okay. So, Jupiter is also supposed to be here. So, yeah. only connection one. Only connection one. Okay. The sequence will be, the pattern will be the same. 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 Okay. Sir. Yeah. Sir, if the Jupiter is retro, then we will start the progression. 12th house. Suppose Jupiter is here uh, in this house. Jupiter is retro, for example. So, yes, this is the 0 to 12 we have to count from here. Yeah. If, for example, Jupiter is retro. Right, sir. Right, sir. And then, sir, sir. 12 to 4, 24? Sir. Yeah, According yes, 12 to 24 will be this house. This house. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. yeah, Pradeep ji. Uh, I... according, according to degree, Jupiter holds in retrograde. Yeah. Hey. The rest of the time, the 12th house will be the 0 to 12 years. Yeah, here we don't consider uh, uh, degree. Degree, because say, Jupiter, say, Ju say, say Jupiter, say, uh, uh, in 10 degrees in yes. retro. So that so, 12 years. No, no, no. Here we need not count degrees. Only, only Jupiter is retro, and uh, we will take the position of uh, Jupiter first house there from there. So that's why you see, whenever, uh, whenever uh, we are, whatever it may be, whether it is retro or not, I, I always consider. 
So, for example, 24 completed here, 12 completed here, yeah, 13th year will start here, generally. So, we will consider 13th year, actually, 12, up to 12, it will be. So, uh, 13th year, he will start here, in the second house. Like that, one hmm. year, we, one year, we, we will add. Ha, ha. One year, it will be distributed, uh, belongs the Jupiter position and uh, its 12th house. Yes, yes. First, uh, first period, first twelve years will be divided in the earth. Yes. According, according the Jupiter holds the degree. Yes, yes. Uh, and from the second house, it will be twelve to twenty-four hour hours, yes. as you said. Yes, yes, uh. yes. So, uh, sorry, so the twelve to twenty-four will be in Capricorn. Ah, uh, yes, Capricorn. Yeah, if it's retrograde. No, no. Then it will be third house. If it is retro. Right, right. Yeah. If Jupiter okay. is retro, it will be third. Yeah, yeah, okay. So if Jupiter is retro, retro house will be the first house. And second house like that. Right. Okay. If it is exchanged, so Jupiter position is safe. The same Jupiter position. We will consider. We will sir, consider. Pro, sir, progression may exchange ho to, uh, connection mana jayega, progression wahi raigi. No, here Jupiter is exchanged also, we will take Jupiter position the same. Okay. Jupiter exchange means it will be connected to some more planets. Okay. It will connect it to some more planets. Okay, sir. So that Jupiter gives those planet significations also. That's all. Sir, one question. Uh, sun, Jupiter and Rahu. Is ko hum uh, Mrit Jivatma Yog bhi bol sakte hai, kya? Jupiter Rahu, not Jivatma, Panchama Dosha. That is. Nee, Rahu, agar Mrit le sakte hai, Mrit Jivatma Yog. No. Sun is the Atma. Nee, Jupiter no. is the Jeev. Ah, to Jeev yes. or Rahu is Mrit. Death. No, no, here. no, no, no. Here, Rahu gives only death to living beings. And here we are talking about material things. Cases to, ah. So here, uh, the uh, what is it called? Atma, Jeevatma means here popularity yoga. We have termed only Atma, Jeevatma names. Okay. So, so at, for, for physical, how do Physical, there will be danger. That's why his father died and uh, uh, because of uh, this combination. Okay. So, there will be no problem in this way. There will be no problem in this way, Jupiter and Rahu. Physical. Yeah, there, the physical problem may be there. May be there. So, he, when he died, it will be accident. It will be accidental death because Mars and Ketu are aspecting here. Okay. So one thing is here in his in his life in his uh, uh, what is this what is this called in his family, all people are uh, died in accidents and uh, mother his uh, gra his uh, brother uh, his father's sibling brother so Chacha we can say uh, his brother's uh, uh, his father's uh, younger brother so he was also killed recently by. Uh, his grandfather was killed, his father met with an accidental death and uh, there are rumors that that was also conspiracy. Mm. And mm. Uh, here the third thing is here his, his uh, chacha was also killed. So everybody is uh, killed in his family. So it may be accident or it may be uh, mother or assassination definitely for this NATO also. Because Mars and Ketu are aspecting here Rahu, Sun, Jupiter, and Saturn. Saturn is here brother, brother of his uh, father, father brothers. Okay. So his father, brother also assassinated. He was murdered. So total in his family, there was a curse because uh, Jupiter, Rahu is with the Sun and Jupiter, Saturn. So this is a curse. So in, in his Purvajanma uh, karma. Sir, uh, what, what, what is remedy, Sun, Jupiter, and Rahu? So, that is past karma. You see, we have to do some uh, remedies for past karma soon, based on planetary combinations. Is sir, nursing Bhagwan ki puja ho sakti hai? No, no, no. Here, uh, uh, um, Ketu is connected for this present Janma. Uh, Ketu is connected with which, which, which planets we have to do remedy here. Mars is connected to Ketu and uh, Venus is there. And uh, Mars is retro and connected to Mercury also. So it will be, uh, you see, uh, Lord Venkateshwara 
so Ven venus and mercury related but he was a christian actually understand he is not hindu but uh, uh, here though he is a christian he always visits uh, for the sake of popularity or whatever it may be he visits uh, vishnu temp uh, vishnu temples i mean venkateshwara tirupati tirupati is actually in uh, ap telangana so tirupati is famous for balaji venkateshwara lord venkateshwara right so um, that's why he always visits the temple why because his getu is connected to mars venus mercury mars venus mercury please uh, mute yourself uh, any other questions sir the exchange between uh, here in this chart between mars venus and, and mars yes yeah so how do we consider the effect of those planets after exchange for example if venus comes to libra It's and in the mark. rounds of jupiter if jupiter aspects libra so the effect will be more of no, venus no, no. or more no. of mars no 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 here venus is aspecting or not here so when when you both both are here mars and venus both are connected here yeah so that's why whenever venus is aspecting uh, uh venus is aspecting their uh, um, jupiter uh, particular house the mm. net will prosper mars is also landed proper landed proper venus is house property and mars is landed property mercury is landed proper that's why whenever these are uh, these planets are aspecting this uh, 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 progressive jupiter definitely the net will get uh, uh finance and everything but yes hello yes. guruji yes mars is connected hello yes yes one minute one minute uh, as, Ma as oh. mars is connected to ketu yes. so there may be even legal problems or accidents or imprisonment like this so now mars is aspecting saturn and uh, mars is already connected to uh, moon and ketu in this 48 to 60 so he will also have legal problems even now also this uh, 12 years so 12 years just started for the okay so at the same time the saturn uh, the ruling planet mars is aspecting here saturn friction karaka and again it is aspecting mars and sun and saturn okay. so like this so that's why the ruling planet mars gives the significations of jupiter the significations of saturn so actually mars is uh, aspecting saturn disturbance in friction but saturn is not uh, uh, single so it is conjoined with jupiter so that's why mars cannot do anything so it will give legal problems only but again it is giving power because mars is also power planet mm. so mars is aspecting jupiter and saturn that's why it will give again power okay at the same time legal litigation is common already is uh, 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 court sessions are going going on for the lang last 10 years okay happened another 10 years they will go on no okay. problem so legal problems will be there that is because of Mar mercury and ketu so he was not uh, evicted uh, he was not uh, um, what is it called clean chit he did not get any clean chit in his uh, cases so still they are going on but he did not even uh, you see verdict was na not uh, uh, against him so mm -hmm. verdict has not been uh, here uh, uh, pronounced here mm. okay sir hello yeah yeah, yeah. yes uh, uh, guru guru ji one question i have yeah yeah uh, still 72 actually no danger for him actually yes Yeah, because uh, how we got Sanjeevini? Because uh, Venus is in twelfth house, no? Actually, no, no, no. Here Jupiter is strong or not? We have to check whether there is any planet in the twelfth, second house, and twelfth house. And in the seventh house, there is any planet that is for Jupiter. And for Saturn, Saturn is actually from Taurus. It is aspecting the owner of Taurus. That is one thing. And Venus is also friend. Karma is good. Karma is good. and now saturn is retro and again it is aspecting mars mars is actually in 
but here mars is okay. not strong here it is this is exchanged with venus that's why again here also venus is aspecting saturn so i am not talking about sanjeevini whether this man lives okay, long okay. long life or short life sure so i am predicting okay. long life so long life means short life means before 60 long life means after 60 after 60 okay. it may be any so okay, okay. when we are predicting death generally we will check the rahu ketu obstruction in progress to jupiter whenever progress to jupiter is obstructed by rahu ketu there will be death in the house that is one thing even for saturn also whenever saturn is aspecting a particular uh, uh, rahu or transits rahu is aspecting natal saturn also there will be death in the house we have to check even uh, transit also so what we have did uh, what did what we did here is we did not talk about actually transit so these things will happen oh, oh. at at these ages so in our if you read for example uh, bruganandan nadi mm. text so ajirao sir written he has translated only at the age of 42 45 and 42 46 uh, this event would happen like this he had written and based on which definitely okay. it would it will be based on jupiter round cycle so actually he okay. did not even uh, teach us jupiter round cycle so in those days when we met him so okay. i tried jupiter rounds like this and everything is uh, uh, fulfilled my uh, the rules which i have framed which i have invented they are proved to be correct so that's why i am spreading this uh, uh, unique feature uh, jupiter round actually it is not written anywhere okay. in bruganandanadi um, anywhere so actually progression thing is different that is based on uh, uh, astaka varga or uh, what is it called vimshotri dasha and all these things so that is not at all related to bruganandanadi but here that's why we are not okay. talking about progression we are talking about the jupiter round so jupiter is progressing in a particular house so what would happen that is uh, we are uh, having a discussion here today so like this so first oh, what you okay. have to do is you just make your own chart the events and in the okay. first round what happened in your life in the second out what happened in your life suppose uh, second uh, house somebody died but you didn't observe uh, but uh, there is no rahu there is no ketu or whatever it may be so then ruling planet is aspecting sun or not you have to check okay so like this uh, you okay. have to you, you first uh, in your family you make your horoscope uh, like this jupiter rounds then you will get many doubts because that is your horoscope you know what happened in your life very well so you yes. suppose if you want to as this is a public personality as we got his marriage date and as his father's death date we don't know um, whether his father died or not so there is a danger who would die so at least if you have public if you take public personality like this i have taken here you see uh, i will send you this file to all of you and I, some people i have already sent so here uh, sharuk khan and uh, uh, barack obama obama i have checked out some horoscopes like this and rajnikanth uh, vivekananda so i have checked out some horoscopes and uh, even punit uh, uh, this uh, punit rajkumar tamil uh, this kannada hero so how he died so like this uh, i have taken some horoscope uh, some horoscopes and uh, uh, this jupiter rounds round, round wise i have identified even kiran bedi also i have taken so all are all are matched whatever i have taken you you will enjoy uh, every horoscope here i will send you for the people whom i did not uh, send so far so okay. like this you also read i have given one chart and uh, we have discussed one chart because uh, we will also in future uh, like this sundays will be spent for uh, updating your knowledge i will i will uh, send you future webinars so that you join every everything you will learn more and more when we read a particular chart you will learn more and more. okay good day all of you good weekend
Any questions? Uh, sir, uh, just uh, one question. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is Manoj. Yeah. Sir, actually, uh, I joined the classes late by one month. So, yeah, if you're, okay, okay. You could ask somebody to, uh, if they have uh, some recording or something of those classes. No, no, the no. First... Sir. No, sir. Actually, I will teach you personally. Uh, okay, don't, worry, don't worry. I will teach you personally. Don't worry. I am with you. Yeah, you Aapka yeah. Shubnam? Uh, Mera naam Kumar. Romi. Kumar, Kumar. Kumar ji. Achha. No, oh, sir, okay. better, better, sir, because you see, uh, he... Sir, he, then I can join the classes with Mr. Kumar uh, together. Yeah, okay. But uh, ah. these people generally uh, come in the morning batch. And I will make... Sir, I can, I can attend in the morning also, sir. I, I just need to know a specific uh, time. Then I will be prepared. Even if when I go to office, I can take time out. For one hour, it is not uh, very difficult for me. Okay, okay. I will let you know. Sir, I'm going to do it from both sides. Definitely, definitely, sure. Uh -huh. Please, so, uh, we, we will yes. put this, uh, uh, send this, uh, uh, yes. this charts. Yes, I will send you this material, total material. Okay, okay thank you. There are some other horoscopes also. You check out. Okay, and, uh, okay. Yeah, because uh, we will... Uh, Whatever I want to teach you with, uh, uh, I have given every rule in here. You follow these rules. If you get any doubt, you, you can ask. Me. I learned a lot from you. I learned a lot from you. I am happy, too much happy. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Sir, sir you, you are a very nice guru. <laughs> ah, obviously. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. Good, good weekend. Have ah, a nice weekend. Thank you, sir. Uh, waiting for the file. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Pranam, sir. Sir, do send the file. Bye, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir.